Hello and welcome back to Moon Ring. We are uh, hanging out in a dungeon and hopefully, uh, you know, this is a don't cause bleeding on myself uh, challenge impossible. So we'll see what we got going on here. What was that? Interesting. Okay, I think I understand what's going on here. There's going to be a code that I have to put in here. Uh, but I don't have that code yet, so this is going to become relevant later. As you lay your hands upon the stone, you see a vision in the web. Trees by a lake, a small farm by, and a large city in the distance. Trees by a lake, a small farm, and a large city in the distance. You mark the location on your map as well. As you lay your hands upon the stone, you see nothing but pale yellow mist. Okay, this is interesting. As you lay your hands upon the stone, you see a vision in the web. Ragged hills overlooking the sea and a pair of tall stones standing like proud sentinels. And last one. As you lay your hands upon the stone, you see a vision in the web. A dense forest, wood smoke hanging in the air and silent rush of wolves. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, uh, that's going to become relevant later, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do it. Okay, do you think I could cast this spell without, like, inflicting harm upon myself? I'm just asking for a friend. Ooh, that was actually amazing. Oh, am I bleeding as well? God damn it. I, I have to, like, stop using that spell. I'm on fire. I'm on fire and I'm bleeding and everything is awful right now. How can I be on fire when I'm wet as well? Come on. Maybe being uh, wet um, causes the fire to disappear quicker. I should have taken that um, ability that gave me healing, like based on how many status effects I was on myself. That would have been good. Just gonna go ahead and drink another health potion and god i've wasted those so what do we get here oh we got another rosetta you know what i should start using those as well um i really thought i was in a good position to use that spell but apparently i never am so let's learn about a faceted stone it's a scrying stone interesting what is a scrying stone a dodecahedral stone fashioned from a semi-opaque rock known as Nemosite. Nemosite. Nemosite is known for its ability to absorb topographical information about a local area and then present this to anyone gazing into it. Interesting. Seems like something I want to use just to test it and then I find out how horribly I've wasted it. Let's learn uh, about our machine fragment. Broken mirror construct. Broken Sibirun construct resembling a metallic spider. It is badly in need of repair. You require 11 scraps of ancient metal to repair this. You have 10. Wow. Reduced by one due to dust devotion. Uh, I'm always short of something, aren't I? Can I use iron ingots to do something? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're learning things. We're learning things and that's great. Um, we got something here. This seems relevant. Yeah, I had a funny feeling something like that was going to happen. Gaze effect. Some creatures have gaze abilities that will affect you continuously while you can see them. Break their line of sight with a wall, or even blind yourself to avoid their effects. Let's try again to use this effect. Immune to physical damage. How am I bleeding? I wasn't anywhere close to the thing. How does it hit me every single time? Okay, I, I have to flee.
Well, I'm no longer bleeding. Badger meat decayed into moldy badger meat. Can we still eat this? Yeah, I figured that was going to give us some horrible effect. But is that hurting us? I don't think it is, necessarily. Uh, well, it's not also not going away, so that's kind of a problem. There's prey here, okay. Yeah, everything ran away. All right, let's, uh, let's head back to the mainland. I don't think there's really anything left for us here. Moon upon Thos, it's free. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Really gonna have to basically only use that spell when I'm in such a situation where like I know for sure like I have a wall between me and it. Cause it's like, it's really hurting me every single time I use it. Hoping resting will get rid of the rotting effect, and it does seem like that has that is the case. What I should also do is have a look at some of the um, other challenges. Repair a construct. Okay, so if I got one more metal scrap, then I could get some more devotion from the Lord of Dust, which would be kind of cool. Discover every type of wand and orb. That's that's a tough one. Um, enter all of the overworld henges, gain the pale heart. You know, those are, those are tricky. Visit the lady's hometown, find a legendary bow, defeat 50 enemies using only range, discover every type of potion, find 25 herbs in the wild, gain the crimson candle. You know, these are tricky. Apparently, uh, some gods have like, I don't know, like this is the, this is the knight of the wolf right now kind of thing. Uh, find a legendary sword, axe, or club. Successfully hunt a deer. You know, maybe if I had a ranged weapon, I'd be able to do that. Defeat 200 enemies seems very obtainable. Defeat a relic guardian is maybe something we could do. Visit the Harlequin's hometown. Find a legendary rapier or uh, dagger. Rapia. Suffer every type of status effect. Defeat 50 enemies while insane. That's actually not too bad. Become cursed by every other god. Well, that's, you know. You just, you just had to give us a deal breaker like that. I'm just going to go roam around. Um, get some money. Find some dungeons. Maybe we can visit some of the uh, relic, uh, you know, ruins that I've already visited. And uh, repair something. That's something we can do this, you know, like these ruins seem to rejuvenate. And so we can actually like kind of uh, grind them a little bit. So now, you know what I'd like to do is put this there. So we're, okay, we're not bleeding. Good. There is a gut. How? How? Tell me how. Somebody tell me how. Okay, so these are the projectiles. I think what happened there is that I um I I was delayed. Like the projectile was delayed, and um I just needed to like step away. And it would have been fine. It looks like I'm not bleeding right now, though. Although I am almost dead. There is that. Okay, let's go back home. Uh, well, let's go back to Moon Upon Thos. And uh, rest. We're actually going to achieve a goal here. Spending a little bit of money, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and repair this broken minor construct And that gives us devotion pleases the Lord of dust um, Now the thing is We have two devotion points wouldn't mind having this, you know trap one that seems pretty good But honestly considering we get these status effects so often 
convert a fraction of all status effects into health. I think that this would be better because then, you know, I, it wouldn't be such a horrible blow to get status, you know? So I think that'll actually help. And remember, uh, every time we buy one of those, we're actually increasing our stats as well. So now we have like plus 10 intellect. Uh, not sure what that does for us, but I'm pretty sure certain, uh, you know, gear is going to be gated behind that. We're going to, I'm just going to arbitrarily go to the south. I wouldn't mind checking out some new things. So now we can do like really throw caution to the wind. Throw this down. It looks like those spikes go through enemies. So now we're poisoned and bleeding. So in theory, uh, let's go ahead and pull out this and then set that to three. And now it does use quite a lot of things, but we can hit that and that'll convert um, status effects into healing. The problem is that it didn't convert all of it into healing. So, you know, I don't know what uh, what gets us like mana. I'm going to call it mana for lack of any other term because they haven't really told me what it is that I'm spending in order to cast spells, but like, you know, godly might, maybe. I don't know. It has a little thunderbolt next to it, so you could call it like god might. Uh, I don't know seems to come back kind of arbitrarily. I haven't figured out yet what prompts that to come back. Let's throw down... I'm going to throw this down here. We're wet right now. So is that a status effect? Could I convert that into healing? Yes, we can. So even being wet is enough to give us some healing. I kind of dig that. That's actually really cool. We got another ruin there. Oh, help. Oh no, did they die? Oh, they died. Shoot. Oh, wait a minute. Are they, are you okay? So those are like NPCs. Uh, I want to check out this ruin here because maybe we haven't fully, we haven't explored this at all. Ouch. Uh, we don't have any mana right now. I, I guess I'm just going to continue calling it mana. Um, all right, let's... I guess it seems to me that killing creatures is what gives us our mana back. So we want to kill a few creatures, and then now that we have enough, we can throw down this here and then run away. And then hopefully that will allow us to uh, do some damage. This is cool. You know, I, I appreciate the, the double-edged sword play of these spells. Like spells in a lot of games are really, really overpowered. They, they, you know, spell casting is kind of like just the end all be all. I appreciate that that's not the case in this game. I appreciate that casting a spell is actually a huge risk. All right, we're wet, so I'm going to go ahead and heal a little bit. That's uh, that's really nice, actually. You are not okay. Can we, like, can I, like, interact with them? No, not really. I was wondering if maybe we can, like, can I? Oh. Uh, sometimes I'm, like, amazed by the fact that bats, like, get the upper hand on me. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a bloodstone down, like, there. I'm hoping that I can avoid... Yeah. So, it works better in open areas like this one than it does in, like, closed quarters. Because, like, I was able to avoid those shards, and it does seem like they just kind of go through everything. Okay, I'm hoping... Uh-oh. Is it... It's coming towards me. All right. Get... Get out of... No, get away from me. Leave my brain alone. Oof. Um, I think it's bloodstone time. 
I managed to dodge it. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Am I bleeding? Uh, let's just use conversion. Oh, no status effects. Okay, apparently I'm not bleeding. Uh, we have no amber oil right now. I am wondering, like, I, I, I kind of don't have any food right now. Should do some hunting. What are you? I don't think I've seen. Oh, wow, you actually hit back, huh? I don't like that this can happen i really don't like that this is a possibility for something like some food or any items to appear in a spot that is unobtainable that's that kind of sucks a lot actually um i don't think i can like exploit it but i guess it's not like a huge deal because like you know it's not like food is really difficult to obtain it just it's just kind of a bummer um hedgehog meat just like eat a bunch of that seems like uh eating multiple of the same food does not provide as much sustenance oh we're slowed i wonder if that's because we ate too much food i don't know i'm just theory crafting honestly these bugs are super fast they also absolutely tear through our poise. But we managed to get through them. We're fine. Okay. Let's see what the sign says finally. This goes to Harrow Dust. Now, um, I don't know if we have a journal. Maybe I should have made a note of all of the things that were being said because I noticed we don't have a journal. Uh, this is like an old school game where you have to actually write stuff down and I really should have, but I didn't. So here we are. So instead we're just gonna like bumble around in Harrow Dust until, uh, you know, maybe I find the, the thing. We do have a, something is here. Maybe this is one of the things I'm supposed to find. This definitely looks like something. Hmm. Don't know what we're supposed to do with this. The sign reads, bring fire to four to summon him. Ruin clue. I assume we have to put fire in all of those four spots. But how does one create fire? I'm not actually sure. Uh, I don't think I can really right now. So we'll just leave that for now. But hey, uh, I think I did find something of importance. Let's throw down a bloodstone here. <laughs> I caused bleeding to like one thing. Uh, if I'm not careful, I could die here. I actually think I just want to flee from that. I like that the game will throw down a checkpoint just kind of like arbitrarily at times. This looks like something. Not sure what. I don't know if it's anything yet. Ooh, we could use that. Uh, definitely stand to have some more kindling. Kind of wish that kindling was a little bit easier to come by. Like we're surrounded by woods. And yet we never have enough kindling. Oof, wolf sure we could take a wolf but like you really aren't rewarded for taking on combats in this game okay this looks to be another one of the clues or one of another one of the things that yeah okay so this is something else so what is the what is the clue here gonna be the lightless sky will bring him forth lightless sky okay so we're gonna have to summon we're summoning four things I imagine these are like, you know, ruined guardians or something. What is this going to say? East is Harrow Dust. 
Wait, what? Rotting. Why are we rotting? That guy seemed to be rotting as well, so I'm wondering if, like... Well, we don't know. We're in the rot. You are rotting. We're ambered. Ooh, I don't know what that is. What did that say? You feel... Oh, yeah, we're streaming things. We're f screaming, like, make mine a large. I feel so ripe. Something, something. Let's, uh... Let's leave this place and enter... The town. You completed a devotional task. Visit the Harlequin's hometown. Your actions please the Death's Harlequin. Re reward is two devotion. This is good. This is very good. Um, so what can we get from them? Harlequin distorts reality to increase your chances of doing critical damage and dodging incoming blows for a period. Unfortunately, your mor mortal mind cannot fathom this, driving you mad. Uh, cause target creature to strike all adjacent creatures to the north, south, east, and west with 100% chance of doing damage. That seems really nice. Place a small, annoying doll on the floor, which will explode a short time later. Your target begins to echo your movements, jerkily, and even attack its own allies if they happen to be in the way. Your finesse increases the duration of the effect. Well, I feel like if I took this and this, um, I would increase my... Finesse and dodge by quite a bit. And uh, that would be better than taking a two. Although, yeah, because the only the, the abilities are a flat rate inc increase regardless of how much devotion they cost. So you want to, if you want more finesse, you got to buy, you know, the low ones. I, I really actually in uh, appreciate that system. It's a good way of doing things. So I'm a little worried that while I'm mad, I might accidentally damage the local folk. Um, so I'm going to just stay put for now and wait out um, this, you know, madness. I really don't want to accidentally attack someone. Um, we could try converting. We'll do conversion that converted quite a lot of the madness into health, which is nice. Oh, speaking of which, we should put our spells on our list. So we'll put Puppet on five, and we'll put this on four. Wow, that's very expensive. Okay, we're no longer mad. So this is serious. Ye gods, have you been to Barrowlin? Yes. I have never encountered such fusty old dust lovers. Can't stand the place. Um, what do you know about serpents? What do you know about Rush? I've heard of them, a great inventor back in the old days. When you're tired of life, go to Barrow Lynn, I say. Um, what do you know about gods? Before they came, there was utter darkness, you know? Um, moons. Praise the moons for their light. Okay. So this place worships the, the jester. Grocer asks, what may I do for you? Well, let's see what you got. You got some meat, mushroom jerky, stuff like that. Let's sell uh, our ch chitin. And um, what can we sell? Scraps of ancient metal. I forgot that we repaired the minor construct. What can we do with that? Sibarun construct resembling a metallic spider. You can hear the click clack of mechanical parts when you hold it to your ear. Maybe deployed as an assistant to lonely adventurers. Interesting. Uh, we could rest. We could buy some uh, a weapon, maybe. Do they have anything here? Cutlass. I already have a cutlass sword. Strength required is 10, but it does, like, a much more damage. But the Cutlass has bleed chance, which I quite like. So, yeah. You can look at armor. Armor has been kind of disappointing, to be honest. What, what can you do for me for armor? Chainmail Greaves. This would improve our physical defense. Uh, and decrease almost everything else. 
padded cap would increase our madness defense and uh you know but it's not as good as what we're wearing basically and then there's the masked cloak which improves our defense by a lot decreases our dodge by only a little bit i quite like that but it's very expensive we would need to sell quite a lot to make it happen which you know what i honestly i'm wondering if maybe we could sell this minor construct to pay for some stuff what is this also distilled from a secret blend of botanicals known only to the highest orders of the sanguine witches um wand of webbing we could sell that i don't know if i want to use that seems like right now the best way to make money is um by defeating constructs repairing a broken construct and then uh selling the construct that seems to be pretty good money i'm not sure how worth it the construct is going to be for us hmm i don't know but uh, i do have a goal I, i've seen the first item that i would actually like to work towards what do you have scrying stone rosetta haven stone device used by the ancient Sibrin to move instantly to another predetermined location it can only be used outside of settlements on solid ground as it requires access to ley lines to determine the, its path this one has been attuned to moon upon thos i wonder if i use it does it use it up completely Burn it to clear curses from this deity and shift moon phases to the umbral moon. Interesting. This is uh, kind of tempting to buy because it means I could like teleport to moon upon Thos. Um, you know, that's that's always a, a good a good thing. Scraps of hide. Did I not sell all of this? Empty flask. Uh, maybe I should look at interacting with that at some point. Kind of want to sell this wob of wand of webbing. Let's do that. And I, I should have enough to buy the, uh, Haven stone now. Okay. So what happens if I interact with an empty flask? You acquire two file of blood to brew reduced by zero with your current sanguine dedication. Gain more from alchemists or use gash. Huh. Okay, is this an alchemist? Iron monger. Uh, unsurprisingly, they have some iron. Uh, oh, well, I mean, there's a potion bottle right here. Let's see if we can't get some blood. Moon sap, grave nectar, amber, bane, ward oil, potion of healing, which is solvent. Acrid yellow liquid used to dissolve metallic flux, once solely used by blacksmiths and other metal workers. Its popularity has increased amongst grave robbers and adventurers seeking to unseal doors to forbidden places. Interesting. It's very, very expensive. But you don't have any, uh blood huh Asperius wasn't doing anything illegal at all and even if I were you'd never be able to prove it okay I, I mean I didn't ask so we have the church of the jester here yes can I help you help you look lost or stupid or perhaps all three all three true i did only say lost and stupid i left out the third insult you would have wept we would have both been embarrassed and blushing does not work with my complexion help you expect help here in harrow dust you're delightfully hopeful alas hopeful is this a town of bods drunkards gestures and killers does that seem helpful 
Um. Okay. Harrow dust. Yes. That is where you are standing. My word. It's a wonder you can tie your laces. Harrow dust, home of death's harlequins and our wondrous relic. Oh, yeah? You are here for the mask? The trickster's mask? Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh, you are joking. You are not joking. We are Death's Harlequins. You seek our most prized treasure. This is presumably an aid of becoming the next Archon? Oh, I thought as much. How delightful. You will die, but you probably know that already. Of course you do. Oh, yes. All who enter the jests die in there. I'll accept Archons, of course. But if you insist, then I shall speed you on your way. It is a wonder of mechanical traps and trickery. I'd love to observe your failure, but it will be so swift. It is hardly worth the talk, the walk. And those shoes are not cheap. These shoes are not cheap or comfortable for that matter. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave and re-enter to say, set a checkpoint and we're gonna go and see what this uh you know sounds like fun honestly sounds like a lark the jest could be cool could be could be deadly uh insist the dungeon is hidden magically hidden to open it you would need a spell a phrase in fact Okay, what phrase? Yes, we decided to make it a little more fun. We left parts of that phrase all around Caldera. Find it and then speak the phrase near the entrance. Here, maybe this riddle will help? Or perhaps not. Let us see. After a moment of scribbling, they hand you a note. There you go, one riddle. Now off you trot and die hilariously. Ta-ta! Caldera. Quite a large area. I think we may have been drunk. No, I'm sure of it. Well, off you pop and find the phrase. When you have it, shout it near the entrance. Then an amusing death is all yours. How jolly. Okay. Oh yeah, we do have notes. Um, Amber, Archon, Dreams, Ruin, Clue. Bring fire to the force, summon him. Lightless sky will bring him forth. Sleathen. There's a beast named Slethen who lives in the forest. Uh, the trickster's mask is hidden somewhere called the Jest. It is some kind of trial filled with traps. The entrance to the Jest is locked by a ward. The ward to the Jest can be broken by saying a phrase in its presence. You only, your only clue is this riddle. The first is now hidden where no book should be. The second with hunters a word in the trees. The third is in ruins where four small lakes meet. The fourth lies near bones in a mountain retreat. The fifth rests with Henry, six feet underground. Initials west, south, east, a word will be found. Wow, that's going to be a lot. That's going to be a lot. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a fairly important item, I'm sure. kind of seems like I don't know it kind of seems like something below us there's a lot here that's not really accessible all of this is locked all right well we're gonna we're gonna end it there um we got plenty more to explore we've got plenty to do uh we we fill out the map of caldera and uh you know see what what awaits us in the world and uh we'll we'll continue as we do uh if you are enjoying the series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy